Welcome to Transport Fever 2, and this game has just blown my socks off with the amount of logistical problems and warnings and all kinds of craziness going on, especially with the huge open world. Every level in the free game mode is randomly generated. I just can't believe it. This video is kindly sponsored by Good Shepherd Entertainment, and if you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Now, we are going to have a selection between two, three, three vehicles. European, American, and Asian. This is really cool as well. I personally feel like uh, USA is probably going to be a pretty decent selection for this. And we're also going to be in the Americas for the most part, which I think is really cool too. And you can choose your starting year, which is really fantastic. So if you, if you want to go all the way from 1850 and survive all the way to the year 2000 and beyond, then you can do that. I think that's actually something I'm going to be doing off screen at some point. I, I think that's, that's actually a really fun idea. Anyway, we're going to be playing on easy difficulty because I'm not exactly great at this, but I have a lot of fun playing it. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. This is where we are right now. We're in the vehicle manager. And uh, well, the first thing that I usually do when I load into a free game mode right here is take a look at the various towns that you have. And this is obviously a large map so your map may not look like this well it will probably certainly not look like this because it's all randomly generated we even have las vegas over here and milwaukee and a variety of other places but we're only interested right now in this small section over here so we're interested in alexandria cleveland modesto and lansing and we're going to be doing uh, quite a bit of trading in and around these areas so you can see here right now this is where i've started so we've got Modesto South, it's just a small little truck depot right here. And we also have a uh, road depot, which basically gives you some access to vehicles. And what I've done is I've already purchased 16 vehicles. Now, you may be wondering, well, what are you going to do with 16? Well, I'll just have a look here. I've got the red line. The red line will go from this area over here. So it will take logs all the way over to the lumber mill. And then the lumber mill will create planks. And then the planks will be taken over here to the tools factory. And then the planks will be turned into tools. And then the tools will be taken over to Alexandria. And what I'm thinking of doing is we're probably going to do something a little bit more with that. Because this is a really nice supply chain already. But I'm kind of not sure where else I can make tools just yet. Because as you can see, because the resources are of course all random. Everything's random about this. You kind of have to make the best of things. Ah, here we go. We have something else going on here, but this is going to be a very difficult supply chain. I need logs to put into the Cleveland sawmill, but where do I get logs from? Can anyone see logs? Yeah, all the way over here in Cleveland Forest. So this is going to be very costly to make any kind of supply route. And that's going to be, that's going to be a bit problematic. So if we were to instead do it this way and basically make it so that our tools will then travel all the way over to Cleveland by train, that's probably going to be much, much more useful. So we're going to try and see if we can do something like that. But for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to get our first four vehicles tagged for line one. Then our second four vehicles are going to be tagged for line two. And then our third We'll go to line three. And I actually bought four more for no apparent reason because, well, <laughs> I'm kind of silly. This is, by the way, a road that I constructed myself because the only roads th that the game had already constructed for us were this way. So they went into Modesto and that's the thing. I don't want my trucks going through another town and having to worry about traffic, having to worry about you know, congestion and traffic lights and all that sort of thing. And then having to go on this road over here, it just takes way too long. So I decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to build my own road. And that's exactly what I did here. So if you really, really hate this road, then you can just bulldoze it. I'm actually going to pause for a second because my uh, trucks are relatively close here and we're going to need to build another little piece of road. So if we go to streets, you can see here I built a medium country road, which has a speed limit of 80 kilometers an hour. Pretty fast. You can get faster if you go for a large country road, but I didn't I didn't think I really needed it. So we we're instead just going to go like this. And there you go. Now, bear in mind that the environment also has 
a massive effect on how fast your vehicles and indeed mostly your trains are going to travel. So hopefully my guys, whoa, they're going, they're going like maniacs through that intersection right there. Oh, that's a bit crazy. Okay, well, let's just, uh, let's just let them get on with it then, I suppose. That's kind of insane. So fuel is much more, well, shall we say easy to access in Cleveland than tools. So maybe we'll just leave our transport over there and instead we'll find out where we can build fuel so let's have a look see that is exactly where we need to go so if we want to supply cleveland with fuel then we're going to need to do that or we could just supply plano actually plano is right here so that kind of makes sense oh wow they need a lot this is actually really good all right so i think with this particular supply line i've already set up a little bit of uh, supply and the various routes and lines we're going to be following but here's the thing I think I'm probably gonna go for something that has a specialized cargo type. So you can see here that this one is going to carry crude oil, refined oil, and fuel. And that's exactly what we want to do. So we're probably gonna be doing something like that. I think that makes the most sense. So we're gonna be buying, I don't even know how many to be honest. Mm, there's quite a, they, they have quite a big supply. So we probably want to do Probably gonna go for three each line, I guess. Yeah, three each line, so let's go for nine. We'll buy all that. It's a pretty massive investment, bear that in mind, but we should be okay. So line four, so we're gonna go and get four, three of those onto line four. And then three of those onto line five. And bear in mind that you can actually rename all of your lines however you wish. So I can rename it, uh, Gas guzzlin. There we go. You know, gas guzzlin. Ah, yeah, that 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 does not help. <laughs> that does not help me right now because now I'm like, oh, but which one? Which one is this? And which one is that? Ah, yeah. But anyway, you can do that if you want to. You know, because uh, I'm sure many many people are much more organized than I. Maybe we want to build some construction tools. I see a quarry there, and then if you take the stone and place it in the materials plant over there, then that will turn that into construction materials and then you can take the construction materials wherever you like. And I'm thinking maybe we'll do like an airport. Shall we do an airport? <laughs> uh, maybe to Milwaukee, actually. It's pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, it's got a, quite, a, quite a good amount of supply in comparison to Palmdale. What about Shreveport? And we've also unlocked some new vehicles as well. Bear in mind that new vehicles will be unlocked as you progress through the game because of course, the years will pass by. I'm at 1992 right now, and these things were developed at the, around that time. Anyway, this also does not require that many construction tools in comparison to Milwaukee. So technically what I could do, I think, I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna do that actually. So let's do exactly that. This is gonna be kind of harsh for us, I think. So let's try and build, hmm. I don't know how well this is going to go, but we're going to try it nevertheless. So let's just go for something like this. Maybe, yeah, something like this. Anything highlighted in white, by the way, is affected by your building that you're placing. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm going to just build this and we'll see how it goes. All right, so it's definitely not recommended to do what I just did, but I'm I'm kind of taking a bit of a risk here because I want to try and maximize the amount of speed that we're getting. Yeah, this is now the problem because I have built a very large tunnel that cost me $2 million through this hill here. And I'll show you it in just a second, but uh, hopefully we're going to be able to actually get some trains onto the track. There we go. Stone onto the train and we're going to go all the way through here, all the way through that smaller one, all the way over to the processing plant. And then this processing plant is going to be, well... It's probably going to be trucks. Let's face it. It's probably going to be trucks. So we're going to have to do something about that. So let's do a truck station right there. We're going to demolish two buildings to do this, but it is going to affect many more in the city, which would enable us to cover more ground, which is actually really good. So I guess we could do that. Two buildings. Can I get just one? No. 
Okay, let's just build a truck depot there then. I'm so sorry, people, whoever were living there or using it as a... Wow, it's actually an industrial building, so I suppose it's okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yes. Let's build another road depot. We're going to need one of those, that's for sure. There we go. We'll go for four. And we're just going to leave those there for the moment because what I'd like to do... Ooh, this is going to be harsh. This is going to be real harsh. Okay, so let's make a new line. And we're going to just call this line train. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see. Let's go for this. And then we will go for this over here as well. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So now what we can do is we can get a train. And now I've lost where, I'm, where I am. There we go. Okay, so let's get a train. And now here's the thing. I have no idea about all these because we've. this is the first time I've actually explored the electric and diesel versions. Attractive effort is just so much better on these. So we'll go for... We'll go for the most expensive one, I guess. This is the only train we're really going to get. Buy for 11,000? No. Okay, that's a bit too much. What about 5 million then? I mean 11 million, sorry. <laughs> uh, dealing with such... Massive amounts of cash right here. Okay, so yes, let's let's buy one of those, and then we will buy a bunch of. Well, I actually, don't even know. Let's have a look. Uh, we need we need stone, right? Yeah, we need to transport stone. So we we need gondolas or yes, gondolas basically. And capacity is eighteen. Uh, yeah, top speed, that's pretty good, because the top speed of that other one is just 80, which is not exactly great. So we'll just go for this. You can even choose your color, by the way. So if you want to, you can choose uh, bright purple. Look at that. How crazy. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. And that's a lot. That is a lot. Let's just get two. Yes, let's just get to okay. So this is this is not something we want. We we don't want this. We don't want this right here. So we're going to remove that. Boom. There we go. Now he's going to go and he's going to get all the stone from here. Hopefully they're going to load it all on. Oh my. That that looks like such an eyesore now. I I do apologize. Ah, look at that. We've got some new vehicles available now as well. 26 million for this thing. Oh my. Yeah. So anyway, the point is, is that we now have our supply route running and hopefully that's going to supply Palmdale with a good amount of construction. Now, what I'm going to do, literally just because I want to have a bunch of fun here, is I'm going to go to my... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to go to my wonderful bank here and say hello can i borrow money maximum loan is a hundred million let's do this boom 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 boom. give me all this cash yes can i hold it down i can't hold it down okay i'm just gonna have to just gonna have to press the button multiple times let's do this okay so there we go there we go there we go there we go and i think 50 million is going to be enough surely surely it's going to be enough all right so now now that we have the ability to make construction tools, we're going to build an airport. Okay, so let's have a look. We need a cargo airfield. And let's see. This is the first time I'm doing this, by the way, because I haven't really had that much experience with the airplanes, so to speak. So let's have a look here. Yeah, it's not going to affect it. That's not going to affect it. So what we're going to need to do is maybe build a road. So let's just build a road that goes... Not like that. Uh, maybe just a little bit out. A little bit out like so. And then we might be able to build the cargo airfield. No. Hmm problematic problematic not entirely sure how i'm going to do it but uh, yeah you can actually destroy trees as well and by the way you can also manipulate the environment however you want so you can actually smooth out the environment however you can lower it if you want to and look at that i actually got an achievement as well because of that <laughs> yes and you can even paint it 
Look at that. You can even paint it. You can paint it anything you want. So if I want to, I, I'm Bob Ross now, apparently. So if you want to, you can draw a heart. Oh, yes. You can do that. Isn't that fantastic? I like it. Anyway, there you go. That's that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's actually get our cargo airfield. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect right there. Okay. So now what we want to do is we actually want to get a... Uh, yeah, that's fine. For one small cargo aircraft. Yeah, I think that's okay. And that means I will be able to buy some vehicles. Let's buy the... Oh, okay. This is the only one. Okay. This is going to cost me three million. Let's get two of these. Why not? Why not? And it is now the year 1996, by the way. All right. So let's go to, over to the line manager. Let's get another line. And then we're going to rename this Plain Times. Yes, Plain Times. And then we are going to... Uh, oh, yeah. I need to build another airport, don't I? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so let's build another airport in Milwaukee. They need one. They don't have one right now. So this is going to fill a rather wonderful niche, isn't it? Okay, so let's build... We have to build really close by to all of their construction materials area. So something like... like uh, can, I, can I build here? No, that's not going to affect them at all. Maybe I can swivel it around. No, that's also not going to work. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to bulldoze a little bit. Oh, yes, we're going to need to bulldoze. So let's just take that off, take that off. And Oh, they're, they're actually wanting to build that. Look at that. They're wanting to build that. How dare you? That's not, that's not right. Okay, there we go. Maybe we can do something like this. All right, so there you go. I think I have done it. I have built my very own airport and now we're going to add this to plane times and then we will add this other one there we go there's there's the route fantastic isn't it yes this is absolutely wonderful and we are now going to add both of these to the plane times route and boom now they will be taking off oh yes and i actually forgot to do something it is not spaghetti transport. It is bear-tilled transport. There we go. But look at that. Buy an aircraft and run a line. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we now have a new vehicle available as well. And look, there he goes. There he goes. He's going. And you can actually select these guys, by the way, as well. And you can even go into... Oh, yeah. You can even go into the cockpit view. And you can take a look around. Look at that. You can even go on your train. You can go following a person if you want to. You can follow your civilians all over the place. You can see where they go. You can give them names as well. It is a pretty amazing game. And if you would like to check it out for yourself, there is a link in the description. And I'd highly recommend you do so. Oh, look! You can see their wonderful, happy faces. Can you believe it? They can't. Can they? They can't believe it. Anyway, <laughs> ah, that is amazing. That is really, really cool in my opinion. Also, you can build buses. You can build bus routes, trains, passenger trains, all that sort of thing. You don't actually have to only do cargo. The only reason I'm doing cargo is because I feel like that's maybe a little bit more predictable. A little bit more predictable for my liking than people. Passengers are a little bit sporadic in my opinion. And uh, let's actually have a look at Alexandria right now. Yep, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well in terms of supply on tools. What about machines? How do we make machines for them? Let's take a look. Ah, it seems like over here you can make machines. Yes, look at that. Shreveport Machines Factory. You're going to need a whole bunch to be able to do that. So you need, what is this? Steel. You need steel and planks. So steel and planks, that's actually really far away from this factory. So it's probably not a good idea to go from there. But that's the... Oh, no, there is something over here by Lansing. That's a steel mill. So you can make steel out of iron and copper, I guess, what that is. That's iron. Uh, that's coal. Okay. Good to know. But yeah, it is phenomenal. It is a really, really good transport tycoon. I love games like this. And maybe you will too. 
check out the link through the description there and uh, maybe uh, maybe you'll like it yourself enough to purchase it. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.